when millions of people are going to vanish off this planet. It's going to happen out of nowhere. It's going to be a very sudden event. Millions of people are going to vanish. If you're watching this video after millions of people have disappeared, please, they, please pay very close attention to what I'm about to tell you. If you're watching this video before millions of people have vanished, it's time for you right here and right now to make the best decision for your eternity while there is still time because this day is coming and it is coming very, very soon. But there is coming a day when millions of people are going to vanish off this planet. And after this has occurred, there's going to be complete and utter chaos all over, all over the world. There's going to be complete worldwide economic collapse. There's going to be worldwide civil unrest. It's going to be complete chaos all over the world. Especially when babies and children, those I believe that are under the age of accountability, which God only knows that age, and you'll notice that those that are missing are also those that are Christians. But when this event occurs, right, again, there's going to be complete chaos all over the world. The world is going to be looking for answers. They're going to be looking for a solution. They're going to be looking for somebody to step forth and make order out of chaos. There will arise a leader who's known as the Bible, uh, known in the Bible, excuse me, as the Antichrist. He's going to make order out of chaos. I like to call him Mr. F Mr. Fix It All because he's going to have all the world. He's going to have all the answers to what just occurred. This future Antichrist, who again the world's going to look to as a Messiah figure, who's going to have all the world answers, Mr. Fix It All, who's going to make order out of chaos. This man, the Pope, the Vatican, uh, world leaders. Um, most likely, what they're going to say after millions of people have disappeared is that alien, there was an alien abduction or something with UFOs. Or there's going to be some sort of other explanation as to what happened, why millions of people vanished off the planet. Whatever they try to say to explain away this event, do not believe it. It is a lie. It is a deception. The truth about what really just occurred when millions of people do vanish off this planet the truth is revealed in the Holy Bible. Nearly 2,000 years ago, the Apostle Paul records in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 to 18, the following. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. This right here, my friends, is referring to an event known as the rapture of the church. When you go to verse 17 there, again, it says, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. That word right there, caught up, the, the Latin translation of that word caught up there is rapturo. The Greek word it translates is harpazo, which means to snatch, to pluck away, to seize by force, to claim for oneself eagerly. For those of you that have kids out there, imagine if your kid is on the train tracks and a full speed train is coming. Right before that full speed train hits, you are going to rescue your child off the train track. You're going to snatch away, claim for oneself eagerly, suddenly remove your child out of harm's way before that train hits. Likewise, Jesus Christ, the Son of a living God, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, is going to remove those that are truly His off of this planet before the worst time in human history occurs, something known as the Tribulation Period. Revelation chapter 3, verse 10 to 11, we read the following. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. You see there, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee. We are kept from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. That is the coming tribulation period. So when millions of people vanish off of this planet, 
it was not aliens that took us or UFOs or whatever they're going to try to say to explain this event away. It was, again, what the Apostle Paul recorded nearly 2,000 years ago in the Bible, something known as the rapture. When this event occurs, it is going to happen suddenly. It is going to happen very, very fast. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51 to 53, again, nearly 2,000 years ago, the Apostle Paul also records this. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So there's going to be a sudden translation because these bodies that we're in are corrupted. They cannot enter heaven. Heaven is perfect. We are imperfect. So at the time of the rapture, again, when millions of people disappear, you will notice babies, children under the age of accountability, and those that are Christians, all right, they are going to suddenly vanish. It's going to happen so fast because they're going to receive glorified bodies and meet Jesus Christ in the air, and he is going to take us to heaven, if you're saved, while the judgment of God is being poured out on humanity during this coming tribulation period. If you're watching this video after millions have vanished in this event called the rapture in the Bible, it's still not too late for you. You can still be saved and go to heaven, but it's going to be a very hard path for you. You're going to be under the severe persecution of this future Antichrist, the false prophet, in the new world order system. It's going to be a very, very horrific time. Just go read Revelation chapter 6 through Revelation chapter 19, and you're going to read about what, what you're about to go through. But you can still be saved, but you're going to have to reject something that is known as the mark of the beast and accept Jesus Christ. And for doing this, again, most likely, you will be killed for your faith. There is coming a time during this tribulation period. In Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 to 18, we read the following. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score, and six, or six, six, six. So again, if you find yourself here after millions of people have vanished in the event in the event known as the rapture in the Bible, and you're gonna go through a really hard time, and there's coming a time when the Antichrist, the false prophet, and the New World Order system, they are going to try to put something in your right hand or in your forehead. And you're not going to be able to buy or sell or go about your everyday life without it. You cannot let them put this in your right hand or in your forehead. Because if you do, you are pledging allegiance to the Antichrist. You are pledging allegiance to his name. You are pledging allegiance to the image of the beast, to the beast system. The Bible makes it very clear if you let them put this in your right hand or in your forehead, and you're going to have a choice. If you let them put this in your right hand or in your forehead, you will be doomed to hell for eternity. You have to reject whatever they're going to try to put in your right hand or in your forehead. And you're going to have to accept Jesus Christ. And for doing this, again, most likely you will be killed for your faith. But if you're watching this video before this event has occurred before millions of people have vanished. There is still time for you right now to get saved. So that way you don't have to go through this horrific time that is coming. I'm imploring you right here and right now, don't wait on this. Tomorrow is not promised. The trumpet could sound tomorrow. And you don't want to be here for what's coming on this planet. Yes, you can still be saved during this coming tribulation period, but it's going to be horrific. Settle the issue right here and right now while there is still time because time is running out and Jesus is coming and he is coming quickly to rapture his church. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you, you can be saved right here, right now as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. 
What do you have to do to be saved? The Apostle Paul records in the book of Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13, he starts off by saying this, In whom ye also trusted, after ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. So first you have to hear the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. What is the gospel of your salvation? The Apostle Paul gives you the gospel of your salvation in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. And this is the gospel of your salvation, that you believe, that you're putting your faith and your trust in the finished work of Jesus Christ on that cross at Calvary, that you're believing Jesus Christ died on that cross for your sins, paying your sin debt in full, that you can never pay on your own so you can be forgiven of your sins and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose from the dead on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And in the book of Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 10, the apostle Paul records the following, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved.